again to the eternity when she came. No part she took in this small happiness. A mighty stranger in the human frame, the embodied guest within made no response. Savitri awakes among the human tribe. She joins the brilliant Samanas crowd. She joins the chant raised to him. She is lured by the joys of the small world. She accepts the lot of mortality. She accepts yet retains her full divine nature within. Savitri has come here in response to the call from this world, from this creation. The omniscient goddess, she had appeared on the horizon. She thought that, she felt that, she knew also to some extent that these spaces were ready for her feet. She would have liked to come here and stay. And things were changing the moment she appeared there. But her presence was too great. Her beauty, her power, her light was too great for the small earthly creature. And the message which she had brought that is left here around and she goes back. She withdraws. Only a lingering trace of it is left behind. The omniscient goddess sees the place not ready enough yet for her arrival. For her arrival in the mortal world. She withdraws. She withdraws in order to enter into this mortal world in another way. She would come here in another way. The omniscient goddess withdraws to enter the mortal world in another way. She would come as Savitri. She will come and make things ready. Savitri will come and make things ready for the full, undiminished, unattenuated appearance of the omniscient goddess. She will come and make things ready. That is the strategy. The omniscient goddess comes, stands on the heavenly world, but she withdraws, she gives the messenger, but the messenger withdraws, spent withdraws. And therefore, the strategy which is worked out is that, no, not from there would things be got done here. She has to come here herself and take the mortal birth. She comes, she comes as Savitri. She comes and make things ready. That is the strategy. That is the design. That is the plan by which things we worked out. She accepts the mortal's house. She comes here and lives in his house. In his, this is her place of residence. But this embodied guest does not succumb to this lot of mortality. She has accepted this mortal house. She has come here. Savitri has come here as the embodied guest. But she does not succumb. She does not, she does not lose her divinity, her greatness, even while she is going to accept a lot of mortality. She cannot live in small happiness Savitri cannot live in small happiness. She cannot take part in it. 
then she may look in the human field but concern she is about it yes she has come as a guest she is a stranger here and she is looking into the human field she is looking into it she is concerned about it but she cannot be limited by the human field the going back of the omniscient goddess and coming as savitri omniscient goddess going back and she coming here again as savitri is to identify herself with the soul of the earth she is to feel and bear its pain savitri must bear the pain of this mortal creation she must feel the misery experience the misery of this mortal creation while she will experience this misery of this mortal creation she shall yet remain divinely great divinely great in every respect though mortal akin is always she to eternity that contact that touch she did not lose the son of god becomes the son of man the immortal takes the mortal birth and yet remains immortal the son of god become the son of man and with all his tribulations he lives here as good a man experienced the difficulties of his creation there was no sun there was no moon and there were no stars blazing in the sky but the son of god who comes here as the son of man bring the light of his soul to the darkness of the night he bring the light of his soul to the darkness of the night he bring that light by entering into the night where there is no light there is needed is light and he brings it with him there is no light here but here he comes with the light and gives that light to the darkness to the soul of night the son of god comes here as the son of man accepting all the tribulations of the earthly creature yet remaining the son of god always a mighty stranger in the human field the embodied guest within makes no response